Have you ever pondered the possibility of life on Mars? This idea has captivated our collective imagination for centuries, from ancient astronomers to modern-day scientists and dreamers. Mars, the mysterious red planet, fourth from the Sun in our solar system, has been the subject of countless studies, space missions, and even sci-fi movies. Why Mars? Well, it's relatively close to us, and it shares some Earth-like features. But here's the catch. Its current conditions are far from hospitable for life as we know it. It's cold, it's dry, it's barren. Yet we humans are known for turning impossibilities into possibilities. That's where the concept of terraforming Mars enters the picture. Terraforming, a term that sounds like it's straight out of a science fiction novel, but it's a genuine scientific proposition. It's about transforming Mars into a planet where life could thrive, much like our own Earth. But how can we transform the red planet into a second Earth? Let's explore. Terraforming Mars is not a simple task. It requires a series of processes that must be executed in precise order. So, what would it take to turn the red planet into an Earth-like habitat? Let's break it down. First, we have to thicken Mars's atmosphere. Right now, it's about 100 times thinner than Earth's. We'd need to increase the atmospheric pressure to a level where humans could walk around without spacesuits. One way to do this is by releasing the planet's carbon dioxide reserves. This could be achieved through industrial processes like manufacturing plants or even by crashing comets loaded with carbon dioxide into the planet. Next, we need to raise the temperature. Mars is a pretty cold place with an average temperature around minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. We would need to introduce heat to the planet. This could be done by creating a greenhouse effect. Introducing greenhouse gases into the atmosphere could trap the sun's heat, gradually warming the planet. The third step is creating a breathable atmosphere. Mars' atmosphere is mostly carbon dioxide, with traces of nitrogen and argon, but very little oxygen. To make the air breathable for humans, we'd need to introduce oxygen. This could be done through photosynthesis, using genetically engineered plants or algae that could survive in Mars' harsh conditions. Now, these steps are not without their challenges. Each process would require massive amounts of energy and resources, there are also ethical considerations. Terraforming would undoubtedly change Mars's landscape and ecosystem, potentially destroying any existing Martian life forms. However, there are potential solutions. Advances in technology could make these tasks more feasible. For instance, nuclear fusion could provide the energy needed, and advances in genetic engineering could help create life forms suited for Mars's conditions. The process of terraforming Mars may seem far-fetched, but with the advancement of technology, it's not completely out of reach. It's a grand vision, a testament to human ingenuity and the enduring spirit of exploration. It may take generations to accomplish, but it could be the next great step in our journey through the cosmos. The journey to terraforming Mars is a long one, filled with challenges and unknowns. We have explored the tantalizing possibility of life on the Red Planet, a topic that has fascinated scientists and space enthusiasts for decades. The concept of terraforming or transforming Mars to make it habitable for humans is a daunting task. It involves manipulating the planet's atmosphere, temperature and surface to resemble those of Earth. The challenges we face are immense, from the thin Martian atmosphere to the planet's extreme cold. But we also discussed potential solutions like using advanced technology to create a magnetic field or releasing greenhouse gases to warm the planet. Each step, each discovery, each solution brings us closer to understanding how to make Mars our second home. So, while the dream of life on Mars may still be a distant reality, the steps we are taking today bring us closer to that dream. Terraforming Mars is a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. It's not just about the tantalizing possibility of life flourishing on the red planet, it's also a symbol of our species' indefatigable spirit of exploration and discovery. Imagine this, a successful terraforming mission could open the doors to interplanetary colonization, providing a potential solution to Earth's growing population crisis. It could spur advancements in technology and science that we can't even begin to fathom right now. 
The knowledge we would gain about Mars, about its geology, its climate, its potential resources, could revolutionize our understanding of the universe. But beyond these tangible benefits, terraforming Mars would be a testament to the power of human curiosity and ambition. It would be a reminder that as a species, we are capable of achieving great things when we dare to dream big and work hard to turn those dreams into reality. As we continue to reach for the stars, we are reminded that the possibilities are as boundless as the universe itself. Until next time, keep wondering and keep exploring.